Students of Swift. So I'm a dad of three, and like other parents, I've always loved it when the kids brought home things that they made at school that were gifts. So that was the inspiration for this app. I wondered, hey, why can't we do this for our tech classes? Well, we'll do that in our next app, and we'll call this app Weather Gift. Now, chances are your loved ones love photos featuring you, family, friends, perhaps even pets. You probably got a ton of these photos, and they probably show different weather. Well, the Weather Gift app will show you the weather served up courtesy of the worldwide highly accurate Open Weather API, and you'll be able to not only show the weather, but also match the weather forecast with specific images that relate to the weather forecast. I actually built this as a gift for my wife. It makes a great Mother's Day or Father's Day. Day gift, feel free to make it your own. So here it is in action. It behaves just like Apple's weather app. So the first thing that you see is the weather at your current location. Now it's rainy here in Boston. We see the image of my youngest daughter in her raincoat. We've got a horizontally scrolling area that's called a collection view that shows hourly weather with an icon indicating what we can expect. And you can see the forecast for the week ahead if we scroll vertically in this table view. And each of these images matches the weather that we can expect that day. Now the dots below show that I've also got weather selected for other locations. So I'm gonna be able to swipe to the right here, move on to new locations. This is called a page view controller. And as I swipe, watch how the time changes in the hourly weather forecast. So it's currently about 4.30 here in Boston, and that's why the hourly weather shows the weather forecast starting at 5 o'clock. But if I swipe, here's Gonzaga University, which is on the west coast of the United States in the state of Washington. It's three hours earlier there, so the next hourly weather shows up at 2 p.m. Looking sunny in Gonzaga. So to match the sunshine in Gonzaga, I've got a photo of my youngest daughter on a sunny day. Looks like you're going to have a rainy weekend, though, Gonzaga. Now it's Wednesday, 2 p.m. as I record this video in Washington State. But if I swipe again, Auckland, New Zealand is showing the weather forecast for Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning. So we'll learn how to deal with dates and times and change them based on time zone. Now you'll also be able to add new locations, so that's what I'm going to do when I click in the lower right hand corner. Now you'll be able to reorder your weather locations if you'd like. You can also delete any locations. These are our current locations. If you click on Add Location, we're going to take advantage of a Google service called Google Place Autocomplete, which can find us the longitude and latitude of any location, and then we'll use that to match up to the weather at that location. So we access that service by clicking the Add Location button. Here I start typing in Moscow. You see there's lots of different options for Moscow, including Moscow Street in Quincy, Massachusetts, but I want Moscow, Russia. Then I can click on Moscow to see the weather in oh, Kashmar, as they would say in Russian. We're going to have rain for the next several days. Now notice when I added Moscow, it added another dot down below. There's one for each weather location. Swipe in the current location's position in the list is indicated by the black dot. And you can click on the About button to share your pride in having built this app and perhaps share an additional message to a loved one that you will inevitably delight with this app. So we're going to learn a ton by building this app, not only building on what we've covered in the earlier apps that we've built, but we'll also learn how to use the Google Place autocomplete service, the page view controller, collection views, accessing data with an API, parsing that JSON formatted data, working with time zones, and so much more. Ready to build it? Let's code!